For years, Western governments told their citizens not to travel to the Kurdish majority province of Diyarbakir in eastern Turkey. Violent clashes between the PKK terrorist group and the Turkish military were common. In 2016, parts of the old city of Diyarbakir were destroyed. So, what's the situation really like today? Well, there is only one way to find out. Right, we are now here in the center of Diyarbakir and the interesting thing about this city is that it is the largest Kurdish majority city in Turkey. So who are the Kurds? Well, the Kurds are an ethnic group that is originally from Iran and they are scattered all over different countries. So they have their own language, their own culture, but they do not have a country. So in total, there's over 30 million of them scattered all over Iran, Syria, Turkey, and Iraq so yeah and there's a diaspora as well in Germany and in other countries and yeah this city Diyarbakir right here is the largest Kurdish majority city in Turkey so about 70% of the inhabitants here are Kurdish so we are here in the center of Diyarbakir right now and as you can see lots of stuff going on markets and shops but yeah the ground is very wet my feet are wet already and it's not really nice to walk around so I think I'll go have a look at some places that are indoors because yeah it's just not the right time and climate to make a vlog outside and you know that I usually like to walk around outside but yeah this is not the best time to do that today is Friday so the Friday prayers are actually going on right now not sure if you can hear it but there are many mosques here in the center where the prayers are going on so I think we'll walk over to one of those mosques and have a look at the Friday prayers So this right here is Uluchami or the Arbakir Grand Mosque and this is the biggest and oldest mosque here in the center and it was built in the 11th century and you can see that the Friday prayers just ended because all the people who were worshipping are just leaving now but yeah we're gonna go inside later but this is one of the most famous places here and it looks absolutely stunning but we're gonna go inside and then I think that the inside is even Allah. more impressive and as you can hear there the calls to prayer I think are still going on but from what I can see people are all leaving so it seems to have ended all right guys we are now in the courtyard of the mosque here and this is absolutely stunning have a look this mosque was built in 1091 so it's almost a thousand years old that is absolutely incredible there you can see the ablution place where the people are washing themselves before praying and yeah here's the mosque let's see if we can go inside not sure where the entrance is Right, we are now inside the mosque here and I have to say this is absolutely stunning. This mosque is almost a thousand years old and I'm whispering because there are people reading the Quran and so on. The Friday prayers are over now, but yeah, this mosque is absolutely incredible. You can really feel the history here because the walls, they look very old and it's a very different style to most mosques in Turkey. So yeah, absolutely stunning location. If you are in Diyarbakir, come check out Uluchami. All right, we are back in the courtyard of Diyarbakir Grand Mosque now, and this is an absolutely astonishing building. And it was actually styled to look like the Grand Mosque of Damascus. So that was the architectural idea behind it. All right, now because the weather is so bad, I'm actually gonna go meet a local friend. And he owns a coffee shop, and apparently it's a very interesting coffee shop. So let's go have a look. Right, to get to this coffee shop, we have to walk through some back streets here. I don't know where these are leading to. Hopefully not into a dark alleyway. But yeah, I think this is a dead end. Let's see. Now we are walking through the back streets of Diyarbakir here. A lot going on. There's a guy working with metal. Wow, look at these workshops. Amazing. What a 
replace the Arbacke. But right now, I'm a bit lost and I can't find a way to my friend's coffee shop. So let's go back to the main street. I think from there it will be easier. So here we are now in the old city of Diyarbakir and you can see that some places here are under renovation and we have some new houses. And the reason for that is that there were conflicts here a few years ago. I'm not exactly sure when, but these conflicts were between different militant groups and the government. That is actually why a few years ago all the Western governments told their citizens to avoid this city in particular, but also this region, because there was a lot of political tension in the air and it also got violent sometimes. But yeah, I'm looking for my friend's coffee shop and I still haven't found it, but I think it's actually over here. Let's go have a look. All right, guys, we have found it. So this is an Armenian church that was built in 1376. So yeah, almost 700 years old. Let's go inside. And here's the owner of the place, hey. Mr. Kendall. How are you, man? How is it going? It's fine, how are you? Good. So yeah, yeah. this is the church right yes. here. Now, this is the, it's called um, Surp Gragos, yes. Armenian church. Okay. This is an Orthodox church. And also it's built in uh, uh, 1317, okay? Yes. And let's keep going. So let's go inside. Yes. yes. Wow, guys, look at this church. This is absolutely massive. So is it still active? Yes, um, there is no service here because okay. uh, the, the Muslim people, they are going to provide the father and his saints, you know? Okay. And uh, after they do, do it, there will be uh, services in every Sunday. Ah, uh, okay, so... Just like uh, any Orthodox or any churches, not yes. just Orthodox, you know? So that's yeah. going to be like in next year or... Yeah. Well, you don't know when. Next year, the year Probably after. Probably on March. March, Probably okay, yeah, March. so March yeah. next yeah. year. Yeah. So in about six months. Yes. Okay, so yeah, yes. let's walk around a little yes. bit. Yes. So these, they are all original, right? They, they all are original. Yes, and the wood was restored. Yes. 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 So all Because the... uh, we want to make the, you know, some uh, conservative also and some uh, traditional look. Yes. yes. So you just want to change the wood, but it looks very, very yeah. authentic. Yeah. And the old see. way of the roof was also wood. Yes. But not like this. Okay. We just restored it, you know? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is a very interesting church here. And now I'm going to do a little interview with one of the people working here. And my friend Kendall is going to translate. So let's go. Merhaba. Merhaba. So you are Doa, Mr. Doa. So my name is Jack, Ismam Jack. And yeah, I'm going to ask a few questions about the church here. So let's go. Could you please introduce yourself? Doğan abi, kendini biraz daha tanıtabilir misin? My name is Doğan. And I'm uh, 28 years old. He says uh, we were restoring this place, this church, and after that I stayed here uh, for definite, for definitely. Okay. And um, we make services only on uh, some holidays, like uh, religious holidays, and also uh, when there is a uh, funeral. Funeral. So we don't okay. have any, we don't have any active uh, father priest here. Yes. So the reason we can't do any services is uh, we, we are waiting for the. Other people, the government, for appoint for appointments. All right. Next question: How many Christians are there here in Diyarbakir? There are um, 17 families in Diyarbakir who is also Christian and also Armenian. Okay. So uh, when when we when we calculate the uh, people number, person number, it's approximately there are uh, 80 people who is also Armenian and also Christian. Do Christians and Muslims live well together here? Müslümanlar ve Hristiyanlar. Yıllardan gelen süreçlerde ve şu anda nasıl anlaşıyorlar mı? Beraber nasıl yaşıyorlar? Diyarbakır is an ancient, ancient city. When it was Ottoman Empire time, mm -hmm. there are lots of uh, Christian people, also Turkish people, Jewish yes. people, blah blah blah. Yes. So uh, still there are uh, so many Christian people who lives uh, together yes. with, uh, with uh, Muslim people really well. Uh, inshallah, we hope it will keep going. So last question, what is your message to the world? Diyarbakır is an ancient city. As I say again, we would like to have more people, not just foreign people, also mm -hmm. Turkish people. We want every people of the world to come to Arbakır, yes, to see. Okay. We invite them, and we would like to be so happy 
if they come here. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. So yeah, that was a very interesting interview with Mr. Doha over there. And as you can see, this is a very ancient city with lots of different communities and lots of different historic sites, religions. And yeah, you should definitely come here because the Arbakir is trying to fend off its bad reputation from the past. So yeah, now let's go have a look at this coffee shop here. So this is the coffee shop. Yes, yes so we have a all the different so they make juice over there yes yes which juice well this this part is for our ice cream ice cream it's not available right now because it's winter <laughs> yes so this is the coffee place yes. coffee yes. This, this this is not coffee no this, this is, is this is a traditional uh, drink yes. we call it in turkish reyhan sherbeti reyhan sherbeti yes okay and what is it lemon lemon powder lemon powder yeah shake it sugar sugar yeah. The flavor of this uh, dr drink, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't remember the words, I'm sorry, but... Uh, it's not, not it's, a problem. It's quite tasty. Yes. Shall we try? Yeah, of okay. course, you can. Let's try one. I'm gonna try this. What is it called again? Rehan Sherbeti. Rehan Sherbeti. Yes. Complicated name, but... Yes, yeah, Turkish. It's because it's Turkish. Yes, let's try it out. Yes. Mm, it has a very special taste. Yes, thank you. So it's sweet, but also a little bit uh, sour. Yeah, because, because, of, because the lemon. of the lemon powder. <laughs> yes, you know? yes. Yeah. Very good, this drink. All right, we, have a tradition. we have a tradition in uh, Diyarbakir. If, yes. you, if you drink something, you gotta finish it. You gotta finish. I'm gonna finish it, don't <laughs> worry. Right, so here we are now on the side of the church. And we have a different part of the coffee shop here. Let's go check that one out. I think it's also terrace, right? Yeah. Yeah. And also we have a room too. Oh, yeah. If you like to see. Yes. Yes. So here's another terrace, really cool actually. And there you can see the church. So it's right in the courtyard of the church. And this church is actually built with the same stone yeah. like the Grand Mosque. It's yeah. the same stone, right? Kinda. It looks very similar, I think. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Yes. Right. We just restored it, you know? We, just, yes. we didn't completely make this from the beginning, you know? Right, now we're gonna see the inside of the coffee shop. Wow, this is really cozy. I think we can sit here, right? Yeah. And then there's the inside part. Of yeah. course. All right, let's all right, let's sit here. Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, guys, have a look at this place. Very historic and very beautiful. All right, I will put the name of the coffee shop and all the Instagram and details. Thank I will you. put everything into the description. Thank you. And now we're going to have some coffee and some wine. All right, guys, so in this church coffee shop here, they also sell wine. And this wine is made by an Armenian priest close to the city of Elazik. So let's try the wine. very good wine. So yeah, that is red wine made by an Armenian priest here in Eastern Turkey. So yeah, we are walking the streets yeah. here now. Yeah. And there, these buildings, they were yes. all rebuilt, right? Yes. Yes, you they can see are. that. They all are. Because there was a war here yeah. in 2017. Yes. Yeah. Between government and the PKK. Yes. And there, we have... These are still being restored, yes. I guess. Yes. yes. So yeah, they, they are, are still rebuilding this. Okay. And here, bananas. Wow. Yeah. Where are the bananas? They are selling. They are selling. Where are they from? Let me ask. Yeah. From Adana, Antalya. 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 From Antalya. So they make so they make bananas in Antalya. Yes. They grow them. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know course, that. Bro. Yeah. Because they have the yeah. very warm climate. Yeah. 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 So here you can see real Turkish bananas. Hey, now I'm gonna try a Turkish banana. I've never eaten a Turkish banana, or maybe I have, but I didn't know that they had bananas in Turkey. So yeah, let's try. All right. Let's let's go. Go. Let, let me open it for you. Yes. All right, let's try the Turkish banana here. Tastes like a banana. But yeah, yeah I didn't know that they had bananas in uh, yeah. Antalya. Yeah, yeah, but we yeah, do. That's the, main, the mainland of the banana in Turkey. Yes. Guys, look at these spices here. I've never seen anything like this. Let's try. What? We sugars. Sugar. Sugar. Yes, sugar okay. Sake. I just got something from this guy here. I don't know what it is, but. Mm. YouTuber. Evet, YouTuber. Your name? Jack. Jack. What's your name? What's yes. your name? Yes. Hey, Ali Baran. Ali Baran. You know, Did you test it? You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's like um, chocolate. Kind of. Chocolate. Kind of. Tam chocolate. Ah. Sugar eggs. Kind of. It made from sugar. Ah, okay. And a snack called in Turkey badem. Badem. Okay. Yes. So it's a snack with sugar. Yeah. Yeah, it's very sweet. Yes. Yes. Very good. Yes. They have, a very, they have a very big shop here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right.
Now we are attracting a bit of attention yes. here because uh, you don't see a lot of people with yes, cameras here. Uh, the reason, the reason we are attracting uh, attraction, attention, is, uh, attention, yeah, is the reason that uh, not so many, not so much people uh, filming, no? Yes, yeah. not so many people with cameras. Yes. yes, but people are very friendly. Yeah, this is my friend's store, by the way. Ah, okay. I know him. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Everybody knows each other here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> almost. I know almost everyone here. Like you know all the people in, in who this, have the shops in this neighborhood. Yeah, okay. Yes. This is center of. Yes, because I, 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 I kind of grew up here. Yes. So when you I, know. When I was nine years old, I came here first. Let's go. Let's go see inside. Yes. All right. Now we are entering here this bazaar street, yeah. and you can see there gold everywhere. everywhere. This Everywhere. is the center of the Arbakir. Yes, center when of... it's about uh, gold. Yes, yeah, center of the Arbakir is about gold. Yes. yes. Yeah. Wow, let's go in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, now we are at Hassan Pasha Inn, which is the most famous traditional Ottoman tea house, as you could call it. And look at this place. It's absolutely massive. And it looks a bit like the one that we saw in Urfa, and we also saw one in Gaziantep. But I have to say, guys, this is the most beautiful one. This is incredible. Look at it. And you got all the different restaurants and places to have tea, where the locals have tea and stuff. Yeah, yeah. this is incredible. So I got myself some souvenirs here. Yes. What else do they have here? This is oh, a copper. This is Copper, made, made yes. Copper. So these are the to make coffee, right? Yes. Turkish coffee. Yes. So you also boil we it. are drinking uh, Iran. Iran. Ah, you drink Turkish Iran drink. from yeah. this. From okay. This. And then here you have Fiat and Peugeot. Yeah, yeah. Why do you have that? They are fake. They are fake. Yeah. Yeah. But it's. I have. I see a lot of Che Guevara here. Yeah. Do you like Che Guevara? We we'll love him. Really. Love him. Because he's a re revolutionist. So what does he have to do with Kurdish people? Does he have nothing. any connection? No. No, nothing. No. He's an so, idol. Yes. He's just the idea. Yeah. Yes. Kurdish people like Che Guevara. Uh, do you know where he's from, Che Guevara, by the uh, way? Cuba? No. Argentina. Argentina. He Sorry. fought in Cuba. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. He yes. fought in Cuba. Yes. Yeah, Argentina, you know. Yeah. Like Lionel, Lionel Messi. <laughs> yes, yes. He's my idol. Yes. <laughs> but he's a but he was not a revolutionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many shops do you have? Five. Five. Javelin. You have five shops. Yes. Yes. It's so all gold, jewelry, all jewelry, all jewelry, all so jewelry, gold, um, diamonds, gold, diamonds, everything. Yes. yes. So yeah. yeah, Kendall here, he's the man. Yes. If you come to the Albuquerque, he's the man. He owns five shops here. Okay. Where are My brother. Ah, your brother. Yes, okay. My brother, Fratz. Okay, Adonisse? Kardeşim Fırat. Fırat. My name is Fırat. Jack. Your name? Jack. Jack. Nice Jack. to meet Jack. you. Lüksem buradan geldi. Yes. Lüksem. Okay. 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 Adonisse? Yes. The Öner. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. No, so, like, so, so, Döner without D. Uh, also, another, my brother wants to be a nuts blow blow Ah, yeah. okay. Brother from another mother. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, let's have a look at this shop here. Wow, what do they have here? They have diamonds. rings, yes. all diamonds. Wow. So, so are these wedding rings wedding for uh, marriage? Wedding, wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, Let's see how much you have to spend if you want to marry a Kurdish wife. Yes. Uh, so how much does you have to spend? Kendam, three hundred fifty dollars. It equals um, three hundred fifty dollars. Oh, that's not so expensive. Nineteen karats. Nineteen karats. Uh, its its quality is F. Uh -huh. And S I. Okay, yeah. I see. So if you want a Kurdish wife, you gotta spend three hundred fifty dollars at least yeah. to get a ring. Like make this. a pro make, make a propose. Yes, you, if Just you want to propose. propose. Yes, Just propose. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> what is the most expensive ring that you have? En pahalı endeki yüzük. Pırlanta. Şu an sendeki herhangi bir en pahalı böyle baba. Karatı en yüksek. Babam karatı yüksek yükseldir babam. Bir karat. It is one karat. One karat. Yes. Wow, it's a huge. Have, look at it. I have to be careful with this one. Yeah, look at fine. this one. Friend. What an iceberg. So, so yeah. how much nikadah for this one? Let me check. Yes. Uh, 1,300 dollars. 1,300. 1,300 dollars. So yes. yeah. So if you want to really impress yes. your Kurdish wife, yes. you got to get this one for 1,300. Yeah. If, you, if you buy this one, she will uh, fall in love with you. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Even if she's not. Yes. <laughs> that is how. That is how yeah. the people here yeah. in Diyarbakir get yeah. married with yeah. these big icebergs yes okay so how many do you sell every like month 
Ayda kaç defa satıyoruz? Yani, ba- yani minimum 5'ten 6'dan başlıyoruz. 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 Minimum 5'ten 6'dan